Hey all, Russ here of your TV. Guess what? Today is July 1st. You know what that means? Road trip. <laughs> here we go. And we're off. Gonna jump on I-40. Gonna do some freeway this morning. Some I-40 interstate. Right into the sun. So I'm not gonna film a bunch of this. Once we get past Flagstaff kick the cameras on we're gonna make a really cool stop at uh, Winslow check out some stuff I missed a bunch last time I was going through there our goal today is to get over to Holbrook Arizona and the journey is starting like right now sit back and enjoy the ride Fourth of July weekend traffic, it is brutal out here. But we're doing it. Matter of fact, I'm gonna stop. We're gonna drive through uh, Williams. I'm gonna stop, grab a cup of coffee, take a break. But once we get over to Winslow, we're gonna do a little bit of exploring. There's a little Shell gas station I always stop right up here at the Williams exit. Here it is here. Okay, we'll cut through town, pick back up I-40. Yeah, that traffic. I knew it'd be bad, but oh my goodness. You know, when I first left uh, Kingman, it was about normal. I thought, okay. And as soon as I started getting up a little farther, by the time I got up Seligman, oh my goodness. The floodgates open. But this is the start. Going to be on the road for at least 100 days. So this is the start of it. I figured uh, Holbrook would be a good layover tonight. That's about 230 miles. Let me catch my breath, get ready, and then uh, tomorrow, July 2nd, we're gonna head on into New Mexico. Gonna cut through on some back roads. Thought that'd be a cool stop too. And right here is the Welcome to Williams Gateway sign. Plus, I mounted a camera on the back. Check out the view from the back of the van. How's that? Not bad, huh? <laughs> Gonna add a lot more features this year to the videos. Not only the 360 camera, we're going to try that up in Winslow, plus different mountings on the van get different perspectives as we travel through some of these towns. Kind of empty, but it's early. This is, uh, we're right on old Route 66 here. Williams is absolutely famous for it. Just past that big Safeway. That's about the only place to get food. You know, there's Boone docking everywhere. We're not that far from Grand Canyon up here. But I'm really looking forward to this trip. Got it pretty much mapped out until I get up to Sturgis. We'll be in Sturgis August, about the third. Second or third, we'll arrive in Sturgis, be there for about a week, and then we're heading east. Figured we'd do some exploring through New Mexico for the next week or so, and then we're going to head up into the Colorado Rockies. So all kinds of cool stuff coming up on RVR TV. Look at the old towns, you know, there's a bunch of motels here, the old style Route 66. A lot of people stop here just to experience, you know, 
Route 66 is traveled by car as much as they are RVs, motorcycles. The whole route's like 2,200 miles. Big murals on the buildings there. That guy didn't read the sign, says stop, huh? Holiday weekend, they are out in force. Old brick style buildings. Love this town. I'm thinking uh, next year we might do the whole Route 66, start in California and go all the way to Chicago. It's kind of on the plans. We'll see. And happy 4th of July. It's coming up in a couple days. Huh? Time you see this, it'll probably be the 4th. This video will probably get posted on the 4th. Videos will be a few days behind. That's as fast as I can edit. Okay, that's it for Williams. Back on I-40. Next stop, Winslow. I was in Winslow about a year ago, and all I did was catch the statues on the corner. There's a big hotel. If it's open, we're going to go explore it. Museum, all kinds of cool stuff. Alright, jump back on uh, I-40. If you went straight, this is probably one of the most busiest roads. Straight up is about 50 miles is the Grand Canyon. Every bus, every tourist takes this exit. And that's the only way to get up there. Made it through Flagstaff, wasn't much to see. You know, the interstates, this is probably the biggest chunk. Got about 300 miles of I 40 out to travel to get out of state. I'm kind of stuck, there's nothing uh, I can get around it. Right up here at uh, Twin Arrows, I'm gonna stop, grab a little fuel. They're usually uh, one of the cheaper places along the interstate to grab some diesel. Twin Arrows is uh, old, abandoned on the right, trading posts. And on the left, there's a massive casino. I've done a video about this probably a couple times. Exit coming up. Okay, we'll stop, grab a little bit of fuel. Pumping diesel. Look how fast that thing's spinning, huh? Still less than four bucks along the interstate in the bad. This is part of the casino here. It is a massive. You can actually boondock in their parking lot here. I've done it a couple times. Works out pretty good. You can see the van is a mess already. <laughs> Fully loaded. Computers, clothes, everything, camera gear. We're ready for the summer. Not bad, huh? Even bought a little ice chest. Keep some cold drinks right behind uh, me. Okay. This is a casino. It is getting hot. We're under a excessive heat warning here. Okay. Almost done. Jump back on I-40. We're close to Winslow. We got about, I don't know, less than 30 miles, 25, 30 miles. You know, this is a kind of a cool stretch of I-40, too. There's a couple exits. Everything's abandoned, but there's a 
ton of history here. All kinds of old uh, ruins, part of the old Route 66 highway still uh, there, some old bridges. Plus you got the meteor crater up here. All right, make a left. Here we go again. I believe it's called Two Guns. There's old ruins over there. You can actually uh, hike around and explore. There's old abandoned gas station. Yeah, two guns. There it is. A lot of truckers, they like stop. They'll sleep over. They're in that big lot. Look how flat. You know, you leave the mountains of Arizona, but in elevation, we're still up here. We're uh, five, 6,000 feet in elevation here. Definitely snow country. Then here's Meteor Crater, where you see those trees there on the right. I've stayed there a few times. That's an RV park, Meteor Crater RV Park. Then about six, seven miles back is where that massive meteor crater, the big meteor hit 50,000 years ago. That is definitely a must-see, must-do. I've done several videos on there. Exit 233. Really cool stop. It's something uh, to see. There's a look. I made a quick stop. There's I-40. And then way out there, see that mound? That's the meteor crater. That's how big that thing is in a big flat area. There's always a lot of controversy if it was a volcano or a meteor, but they've determined it was meteor. Look at the traffic. There's your holiday traffic on Interstate 40 on the eastern part of Arizona. Okay, let's head on into uh, Winslow, what do you say? Here's another uh, cool stop. It's an abandoned uh, trading post called Meteor City. Has that big dome there, used to be a campground. Someone said they're gonna to try to restore it, but they haven't yet. Made it. Here's our first big stop. Winslow, Arizona, standing on the corner. We're gonna head downtown, we'll look at the statues, but also I want, there's a old hotel that I missed last time. Some of you kind folks reminded me about it. And there's a museum in there. We're going to go find it and explore. All right, we'll head on into town. And this is the old original highway running through here. This is also a big train town. You can actually take a Amtrak train ride. I know out of Kingman all the way up through Winslow and you turn around and go back. Plus the Amtrak goes all the way into California too. 
have to explore that a little bit more. Big old church there, all brick church. This is one busy place with the statues down here standing on the corner. All right, we're getting close to downtown where the statues are. That rear camera is a cool view, isn't it? Okay, right up here on the left, there should be a park. There it is. This is the main intersection. The rock band, the Eagles, made this famous. There's the statues. Big Route 66 emblem in the intersection. Okay, get parked. We're gonna try the 360 camera down here, see how it works for us. Actually, uh, today I'm doing all kinds of experiments with cameras, so I'm learning too. And off to the right here is that old hotel. Okay, here's the historic downtown Winslow. All kinds of cool shops. You can see with our 360 view, you can get a lot wider angle, catch a lot more of the scenery here. I bet this draws millions of people through here. You always see a lot, a lot of posts, a lot of pictures online. Okay, this is a view with a GoPro. Regular view, and now we're gonna go switch back to the 360 view. Look how it captures the whole corner. Building to building. The emblem plus the statues across the street. And all the traffic. Pretty cool, huh? Let's go over and check out the statues. Then we're gonna go find that old hotel. What an iconic song and an iconic corner in a town, huh? And the big mural on the wall, the statues. The windows they put up top, huh? It's all a paint job. This is Selfie Corner. <laughs> Love it. Okay, let's walk down the street. Oh, yeah. Flat bed forward. Oh man, everything. They thought of everything with the song, huh? There's more cars down here, another truck in the street. We'll film that. But all kinds of cool shops, cafes, 
very well thought out, very well preserved. Wouldn't mind having that old truck, huh? Then more murals down there. Wow, it, it's getting hot. It's heating up here. I bet it hits 100 degrees here today easily. Down in Phoenix, they're saying 114, 115 over the holiday. There's the take it easy emblem on the wall. But this is right off I-40. I mean, most people drive past Winslow. Don't even think twice about this. So if you're ever traveling through here, it's a great stop. And you're right here on Glen Fry Drive. Downtown Winslow. <laughs> and over here is the official roadside attraction sign. What do you say? Let's uh, head back towards the van. You know what else is up here is the world's smallest church. There's like a little uh, walk-in area in between the buildings. Well, it was here last time I was here. It should still be here. But all this area, this is history. The old building, Route 66, Route 66, excuse me. Here it is. There you go. Here's the world's smallest church, right on Route 66. They got some storyboards in here, all the history about Winslow. about the railroads, farming, ranching in this area. Dates way back into the 1800s and even before. They're kind of hard to read with all the shade and everything, but cool little walking area. Come in, you'll get all the history about Winslow. This shade in here feels pretty good. <laughs> Perfect place to sit, take a break. Nice bench. Neat old town. We say we'll wander over and get that hotel. We'll find it. Oh man, sure smell that food. It smells good. They're open. Mexican restaurant. There's that hotel across the corner. Very busy road. Train tracks are straight back behind all these trees here. There's the van, solar's on, charging camera batteries, all powered up, all on that zone. Okay, this is the hotel called La Posada. I hope I pronounced that correctly. This thing is ancient, historic. 
built back in the early 1900s. I checked their website. You wouldn't believe who has stayed here. Presidents, movie stars, La Pasoda in Winslow, Arizona. And it was built back in the heyday of uh, like the old time movie stars, 1930s. They said President Roosevelt stayed here, John Wayne, Betty Grable. You could take the train stop right here. Museum. This must be their flower garden on the website. They list everything that's here. Can't wait to go inside. All nice and colorful and green. Here in the high desert, Winslow. <laughs> if these walls could talk, huh? Well, what do you say? Let's go on in. Definitely feel the heat heating up. July in the desert in Arizona. You know, elevation of Winslow, it's still up there, though. We're five, 6,000 feet. That's cool, huh? Perfect area to sit out, enjoy their garden, little fountains. Looks like balconies off the rooms, maybe, huh? Wonder if it's haunted. <laughs> okay, they told me the museum's up back in all the big lawn area. We'll take a little walk. Then I'll show you the inside. Wait till you see the inside of this thing. It is something to see. Wonder what that thing is. There's the train tracks right there. Pull up in the Amtrak. Hop off, grab a room. They got a restaurant called the Turquoise Room. Wow, lawn, everything. This is perfect. Set down this direction like their maintenance buildings, big lawn area, trees. Just the size of some of these trees, you can see their age. They're huge. What do we got here? A maze made out of hay bales. <laughs> there you go. Look at all the birdies. They're happy. I mean, who'd ever think in Winslow you'd have a place like this? This is a world class hotel. Through the test of time, huh? Well, it looks like we're about at the end of it. Let's wander back. The other side of the property has uh, the museum. On their website, it shows that this is 11 acres it covers. Huge. Their website is lapasota.org. If you're looking it up. I really don't know what that is. Maybe a bell was on there? I don't know. 
Who knows? Looks like the waiting area to catch a train. Nice and comfy. To sit out here and watch the trains go by, huh? I bet there's been a lot of them. Okay, that building off right is where the museum is. Nice shaded breezeways. Nice and cool, you can sit out here. Well, I'm sure glad I stopped. Yeah, my last Winslow video. Everyone said, you missed it, you missed the hotel. They are right. Old rustic wood beamed uh, ceiling there. Museum, straight ahead. We made it. Wow, this property goes on quite a ways. Look at there, Argosy Airstream trailer. Okay, here we go. Pretty big building. Okay, let's get started here. Looks like some fine china. Thank you. Those must be architectural drawings when they built the place. Looks like they're adding on there. Winslow through the decades. Look at the old time pictures. I love these old black and white photos. Can't even fathom the amount of people have been through here. The Atchison, Topeka, and Fannin Bay Railway. Video about old time Winslow. It was way before the famous song. They had an airport here. Probably from all the movie stars that stayed here. That list is long. Check this. Oh, there's a train going by. There you go. Wow, look at these old wood doors. Them things are two inches thick. Must be like a library, a reading room. Nice and cool in here. They got it air conditioned. Saving history, very important. Just memories, history, everything hanging on the walls here. Not only about Winslow, about the hotel. Oh wow, there's the train unloading happy uh, travelers. Gonna stay here. This is extremely well done. I've been to a lot of museums, but nice and bright, open with the windows. 
all the people that worked here. Wow, this is when they, it sold and someone restored it. 1997, they brought it back to life. Good for them. Look what it is now. Absolutely incredible. Put this on your list. Well, we'll go into the main part of the hotel. What the train cars used to look like. Yeah, look at the thickness of that door. That thing will be hanging here forever. That is solid old hardwood. Enter in silence, depart in peace. <laughs> okay, come on in. Now the lighting's a little dark, so if the camera gets a little jumpy, I apologize. But look at the inside here, these old paintings. My goodness. Huge parlor area with the furniture, seating. Temperature in here is perfect, nice and cool. Who was that old guy there in the mirror? <laughs> Everywhere you look, antiques, pictures, history. This would definitely be cool to stay at least one night. There's another area up these steps here. This place is spotless too. Oh wow. <laughs> like a game room. Big old chess set, my goodness. Of course, big old grand piano. Even the lamps. <laughs> I'm in awe of this place. Check out this big mural painting. Huh. A little spooky. <laughs> they have lots of fans going, so it's not bad in here at all. Very comfortable. What do you think? Not bad, huh? And there's no admission. It's free to see the museum, walk around. They have a very nice big gift shop. You can buy uh, all kinds of stuff, too.
And there's their dining room, the turquoise room. Wow, look at that. This entire place is a museum. <laughs> Just everywhere. Gorgeous. Okay, back to the band. We got miles to do yet. So long, Winslow. We only got it a little over 30 miles to get down to Holbrook. That's where I'm going to camp out for the night. Found an RV park and a park there for the night. Get some hookups so I can have a little air conditioning. We'll jump back up here on I-40. After seeing all that greenery at that hotel and trees and grass, now you look around, it's just desert, huh? <laughs> okay, head straight on down to Holbrook which is another uh, Route 66 town. All kinds of old stuff. Okay, our exit's getting close. You know, Petrified Forest National Park is just past Holbrook, about 15 miles, maybe 20. Filmed that a few times. That's something to see if you've never done it. And then just straight to the south would be uh, St. John's, Sholo, all those towns down that direction. All right, here's our exit. That's where I'm going to spend the night. We've traveled a little over uh, 230 miles a day, 240, since we day started. For this to be a good first night pit stop. And our last night in Arizona for a good three months. This is part of the old historic Route 66 here, all the old hotels, restaurants. Some are abandoned, and up here on the right, there's that wigwam. All their rooms are like teepees with old cars sitting out in front. That is very famous on Route 66. Up here, we're going to be making a left. Uh, a lot of stuff here. Holbrook is probably their main shopping area for this entire area. There's a lot of stores here. Plus, once again, the Petrified Forest National Park. Plus, all these places around here sell petrified wood. It's everywhere around here. Stuff's heavy. Okay, we're going to be making a left. That 180 to the south, go down to Sholo, St. John's. But we're just going to stay on old Route 66 here. More of the old buildings. Back in the heyday. But Arizona, they 
they really promote Route 66. All these towns do. Pretty cool. Well, with all the stops, everything been kind of a long day for me. But I'm looking forward. I kind of have it mapped out tomorrow when uh, we truck on into New Mexico. We're actually going to drop south of about 20 miles and go in on uh, some uh, state highways and back roads. Going to cut through actually Zuni uh, Reservation. Look for some cool uh, sights to see. Once again, happy 4th, 4th of July. Hope everyone's having a good and safe and happy one. Alright, this is I-40 right up here. We're going to cut underneath it. I could have taken this exit, but I figured we'd drive through uh, Old Town and see the sights a little bit. We're looking for OKRV Park. I found it online and booked a site for one night. Should be up here, just past this gas station up here. Well, I'll just grab some fuel at that Maverick in the morning. Don't feel like it now. And right up here, that big yellow container with the arrow, that must be the RV park. Let's go on in. We're on the east side of Holbrook, but right, right at the entrance of I-42, so we can jump right back on the freeway in the morning. Cool, shade trees, yay. Yeah, when I booked the site, talked to a very nice lady on the phone. I think she was the owner. Very accommodating. This looks like the office. All right, let me get checked in. Very cool, got site number 10, met the owners. They just took this over about a year ago. They're working very hard at fixing her up. Should be a good pit stop for the night. I almost didn't start the videos until I hit New Mexico, but I'm really glad that I slowed it up and took the time and we filmed Winslow and all this today. What an epic little trip so far, huh? Look how vast it is around this area, around the town of Holbrook. All the way across eastern uh, Arizona, it's like this. Pretty place. All right, tomorrow we're heading into New Mexico. So long, Arizona. Hope you enjoyed the trip today. The journey's just starting. Talk soon.